middle. Picked off. Intercepted. That ends a long streak at Sean Porter. To the pocket. He fumbled the ball. He got it back. Now he's throwing in zone. Wide open. Touchdown! Manziel comes left side. Ball wobbles. It's caught. Touchdown. Malcolm Kennedy. McCarron's got Cooper. Cooper's got a foot race. Cooper has a touchdown. McCarron will throw it. It's intercepted. The Shazer Everett at the goal line. They have did it. They just did it. Lightning in a bottle in Tuscaloosa. Hey, listen, we all agree that Alabama is the best team in the country. Since 76, only five teams have finished or uh, started number one and finished number one in the AP poll. Texas A&M will win this year's national championship. And I think they will unroll the tide on September 14th in College Station, just as they unrolled the tide in Tuscaloosa last year. These boys can play, and we know what Johnny Manziel can do. Nick Saban will have time to prepare for this one. They will roll up in there with a national championship on the line. Roll Tide. a and is the only team that's, that's beaten Alabama so um, in, in, in recent times. And so... I think you have to, to look at them as the one best position to do it again, and that just creates an epic matchup. That probably was the longest night that I have ever spent right across the street from Bryant Denny State. It was a, a, a day we don't like to think about. <laughs> I was in front of the TV and I was jumping up and down and hooting and hollering. I felt like uh, they had won the championship. Dancing around, hugging every Aggie in the stands that we could find. <laughs> That was one of the most electric moments I've ever experienced as an Aggie. They should have been celebrating. They just beat the best team in America. And, and I think it told everybody that, uh, yeah, we've earned our place in the Southeast Conference and we can compete there. So I think that really showed that we'd really turned the corner and that, that kind of proved that we were a different team than we've ever been before. I grew up in Tuscaloosa and uh, so football was just kind of part of my life. And, um, I love everything about it. Uh, football is not a game to an element of fans. It's, 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 you know, it's part of your life. Uh, Alabama fans are always excited, always optimistic. We're all going to be national champions. You know, every year we start out the same way. Being an Aggie is a way of life, and Aggie football is our way of really putting that on display. Alabama wants revenge, and uh, A&M wants to introduce Alabama to Kyle Field. I think a rematch is a really good opportunity this year to. You know, it was the only game we lost last year. Pretty much the only tarnish on them has been that game. I don't anticipate. It's an opportunity to make, you know, make things right. You know, we, didn't, we lost last year, only game we lost. You know, opportunity to, you know, show we're still on top. Have a little spot in their heart waiting for that game. I think the whole world's looking forward to that game. I think the, the eyes of the nation and the world whether you care about college football or not, but they're going to be on Texas A&M and College Station Texas on that day. The easiest way to say it in a four-letter word would just be straight up hype. Got my Alabama stuff, got my shirts, my hats, everything. It's, 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 it's going to be big time. It'll be big time for Tuscaloosa, even though it's at College Station. We're going to win. <laughs> I'm always the Alabama fan, but I know we're going to win. Roll Tide, roll. Giga Maggies. Roll Tide. Roll Tide, baby. Giga. Gig em. Full time. Absolutely. Giga Maggie's. Gig em.